Hell oh people, what is going on? This is an update um, to my last video and the progress on this our 200 year old Georgian Victorian house we are fully renovating um, and actually I'll show you what has what is going to happen and what's going to change in the next within the next week massive stuff's going to change in the next two weeks massive stuff's going to change so let's go to the shower room the downstairs shower room so not much stuff happening in here because we have things we have to do in the house in other areas so we need to leave this so this at the minute is just as it was before toilet a sink um, sink shower mess blah blah blah, blah. this it will be this will be dot and dabbed plasterboarded but we are having the upstairs bathroom floor um, tiled and so we can't use the, to set the toilet out and the sink out so we need this toilet and sink so we can do the usual stuff this room i told you before is our current lounge it's going to be our dining room yes this will be our dining room eventually in a few days i have to move this all this crap, all that, all that, all that, into the lounge because, like I said last time, this wall here, the door, the wall, it's coming out. That's being bricked up. The um, half the window's being bricked up there, and we're having <coughs> having a three meter patio door put in, and it can't come soon enough because when it really rains, like it has been doing the last few months or so, the water comes through there into the house and we've had to put that on there because it was banging on the windowsill and soaking all that as you can see it's a bit wet hence why that's all there so I don't so it doesn't get wet on there and I put that there so that takes all the um, all the wetness and it's got a towel and everything just for there so this will be coming out that handle will be going upstairs into the bathroom because the bathroom handles broken as for the the kitchen it's all being bonded and plasterboarded now we have this the um the boiler is inside there you got all that there we told the uh, the um joiner that these counters were coming out but he decided to screw this thing to there and when i took one of it that way we ripped all that out so i had to re-secure it so that's rather annoying isn't it but oh well um, Obviously that's the same, we're having a, a, a splash back there with tiles, um, so that's got to be done. This is, that's the new cupboard we've had done, it looks different, but this little um, cupboard. We had this, this room, it's got all these, I've, I've had to undo all these countertops so you guys can lift up. I've had to uh, put some isolators down there and extra flexes because, the, because I couldn't get the tap out and the tap Flexi, as you can see, is wired in. So I had to get some flexes and put some isolators on myself. So then all I have to do in a few days is undo that, undo that, undo the two flexes there and there, and lift the whole thing out. Because on Monday, in a few days, these are coming out, and it's going to be um, it's going to be measured up for the for the quartz granite worktop. So then once they go. I'm going to put it back in and plumb it back in, which shouldn't take two minutes. And then obviously we're going to have we've got a hob. So they've got they come to basically do a template so they can be cut the hole for for the hob to go there for the gas feed that's in the back. They cut the hole because we're not having all this. We're having a sink which is up there, and the base of the sink is going to come to there, all the way to there. I've got a cut hole in the side of this, and then we're going to have this drainage is going to be. The drain is going to be part of the actual counter, so it's going to have rivets and it's got a nice a nice new um, old Victorian style um, tap as well, which is in the box inside there as well. It's not going to have that stupid thing, it's going to be big ass, that big ass thing is going to be there. That's going to be immense. And this is coming up as well, and that, and that carpet's coming up. And so is that carpet, because it's all going to have wood flooring. This, t this, um, this door's coming out at the same time as the wall in there is coming out because we're having a, a new UPVC door, and then we're going to get all this, the, all the all the room, plastered, bonded and plastered, so we can paint it. We're having some issues with that radiator and the one upstairs. Um, 
we're moving in in this room in like two days because obviously when the wall comes out we can't have a TV and all the couch in there and the rabbits, the rabbits are in here so that would be nice for them to see us so we've painted, I've painted that now I've painted that now I've put that up there um, so if she likes that, ceiling rolls and nice chandelier. She painted the skirting boards because back in George and Victorian times they would have just painted the whole wall all the same colour but if we want to be slightly different and just paint the, paint the wall, the um, the skirting boards and leave the leave the coving and also leave the uh, windowsill nice and white so I've painted the windowsills white. This, is, I've, I dot and dab this myself um, but because I'm not a plasterer and we want to keep this revealed um, we need to get a plasterer to knee it in knee it up and plaster this, skim this wall and make it nice and then we can put the um, then we can put the uh, skirting board which is there this skirting board we had to find to match these skirting boards down here because you can't get skirting boards like that anymore. They don't make decent skirting boards. It's all crap, cheap crap, what a decent stuff. So we got this, three meters for 38 pounds. Yeah, I know it's expensive, but we need it because we need to put fresh skirting board all the way around it there. Once that's plastered, so it looks beautiful. Um, so that's all that done. We had these stupid lanterns up before, as you probably would have seen in the past video. And I wanted to take them down, but stupidly. They had the cable was in the loft, so I had to go in the loft and get some more cable and wire them up, re rewire in the loft, send the cable down and now we have two bit more modern bright bulbs. I mean yes it's held, held up with a wire at the minute but it's a very light wallpaper off. I can, we can make it look nice and shine it and then paint it and then put it up properly and it'll look nice. That's all going to be good. Eventually, we're going to make we're going to have this going to join that, so we'll get rid of that eventually. Obviously, we've got to do all this as well, which is annoying. My wife Charlotte is really good at taking wallpaper off. I don't know why she just finds the easiest part. I'm not doing that. I've said to her, you know what? You do the what do wallpaper and things you like it. I'll do the other stuff, the painting, the looks like bits of plasterboarding, the taking the the, the counters out, putting switches in, putting lights in taking the sink out and the, and the toilet out which I've got to take out because this floor is being done to take is being tiled soon um, what's happening in the bedroom well we did have a leak as I told you before I had a leak up there and this radiator is playing annoyance as well as you can see we've had um, we've before we had remember in the old time they had three shelves in the corner and we've had them taken out and we had the, this uh, the, the um, the shelf taken out of the desk and this actual desk thing as you remember it was here because it was the actual headboard I pulled off there we had it made to look really nice and it looks now it looks absolutely professional looks amazing um, just looks better doesn't it and cleaner and it's just a nice look gotta take all this off uh, my wife did all that yesterday all this this yesterday did a load of that um, I've obviously they had holes in them there um, so I plasterboarded those up, uh, I need to just sand it and make them look better. Eventually we've got to paint these as well because we're keeping them there. That's there because as we said there's a, there's a, there was a leak and get it fixed. Hopefully had it fixed so we've got to uh, we've got to hope it rains soon so we can fix it. We've obviously put that in now as well, the massive ceiling rolls with, uh, yes, I know, that bloody chandelier. I didn't want it, but happy wife, happy life, I guess. And she said it's the only place it, it would ever go and it would ever look kind of okay is in a in a bedroom. And to be honest, it doesn't look too bad. It was a pain that as well. I had to, I had to um, dig into the ceiling, put the old thing into the ceiling, put that on, and then it's actually held up by the other one by a hook. So you hook it up, you push that up, you screw it in. And it's all already working. These are all LED energy saving bulbs. I'm going to put a massive, I'm going to put a hole in the ceiling here, put a loft hatch in. I'm going to have to get extra long ladders to get up there. So, and the biggest, like I said, and obviously the front door is going to be a new front door. But the biggest thing when you walk in here and you'll have a massive window there and it'll be like inside outside. That TV is going in there and then we get a bigger TV and putting that TV on the wall there. It's going to be amazing. 
I hope you like this uh, uh, this video. Um, I'm, it's very, it's a lot of work in between working, trying to like uh, just so I can do stuff. Um, Matt's had some feedback saying I waffled on too long, he didn't get to the video. This is just a quick go around the house to show you what has actually happened, what's happening, stuff like that. Um, so, so, and within a week or so, two weeks and like that of, of this video, you'll see the new video to show all the new stuff that's happening. It's going to be epic. So, uh, thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, um, it's free. Um, I'm going to post this onto this channel and my other channel um, because I'm trying to start another one to see which, which channel is better. I've got 364 um, on one channel, 5 on another subscribers. I'm going to see if the name Famous James is a Hindu and So I've got another channel called The James Lister. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much for, um, for joining me and I'll see you all soon for another it's very exciting um, video. Oh yeah, and I've got a new car, so hold on for that as well. Bye.